Hi there, my name is Brooke from Genai. I'm here to introduce you to the HTC Touch 2 mobile device. This is a touch screen device. At the bottom of the screen, you'll find the call key and the end key. Inside of that on the left is the home key. And this button returns you to the home screen. To the right of that, you have the start menu button, which drops down the start menu. And to the right of that is the back key that takes you back step by step. In terms of the quickest way to make a phone call, pressing the call key from the home screen opens the keypad. Here you can dial the number directly or press contacts to choose a contact from your address book. If you wish to use the device while on a call, pressing the back key returns you to the home screen. Here you can use the device as you would normally and as long as you avoid pressing the hang up key, you will remain connected. Before you can set up your Bluetooth device, make sure that it's switched on and is in pairing mode. Once that is done, to set up Bluetooth on your device, click the Start menu and then Settings, and then click Bluetooth. Here, click Add, and then select your device from the list. If it asks you for a passcode, it's usually either 1234 or four zeros. Once the device is paired, click Done. Before we can set up your company exchange email address, contact your IT department to get the domain name and server address. Once you have those details from your IT department, press the Start menu button, scroll down and click Active Sync. Press the menu here and then select Add Server Source. Enter your email address. Before you click Next, uncheck the box that says Detect Server Settings Automatically. And once you've done that, you can click Next. Here you can enter the server address that you got from your IT department. Once that is done, you can click Next. Enter your username and password. This is the same username and password that you would use to log onto your PC. Underneath that, enter the domain name that you got from the IT department. Once that is done, click Next. Here you can select the items you wish to synchronize with and then click Finish. To set up your Telecom Extra email account, click the Start menu button and then Email. In Email, click Set up email. Enter your email address and click Next. Click Next again. Click Next again. Here, enter your name and click Next. In this screen, enter your username and password. Your username will be everything before the at symbol in your email address. Once that is done, click Next. In this screen, select when you would like it to synchronize automatically, and then click Finish.